So hello guys and welcome back to another episode Oops, sorry about that uh, To another episode of this Football Manager 2021 uh, Nottingham Forest save uh, Today we are going to be starting the league season Plus the uh, the like transfer history Who we've signed, who we've sold And stuff like that, just so on so on um, and pretty much just gonna just gonna go with the flow uh, to start off with. If you like, uh, um, if you enjoy this episode, please do remember to smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, comment uh, down below um, what you think of the signings, uh, what you think to our start of the season. Obviously, I don't know the start to the season yet, but obviously we will do by the end of today's episode. Um, but to start off with, we'll just get into the transfers. Not too, not too shabby. We are still waiting on Dale Fry John joining us as a central defender. But we'll deal with that when it comes up. The only other difference that I've really made is, um, I didn't like the a hundred percent um, like zoom on on the actual uh, picture on a football manager. So I've dropped it down to ninety five percent, and it's actually a lot lot better. Um, so that's what I've done. Um, so transfer history. So if we go into the season 2021-2022 season, uh, obviously we brought in. I don't know if I actually I showed you that. We brought in a lot of these um, useful players, like the like the youngsters who had a lot of good potential. Obviously, if you don't know about a football manager, you get a lot of young players who are getting released. And all of these players were getting released. So like Reese Bennett, Ronaldo, Renal, uh, Torres, Aaron Maguire, J.K. Oh no, uh, J.K. Kim was actually on a free, but it was zero that we paid for him. So yeah, then we got. So Jake Kane looks like this. He is in our. He sh he's in the under twenty threes right now. Not too bad of a player. Um, obviously he's not going to start. Um, in the team. Um, right now, but hopefully in the near future they will do. Um, how's that? How's that happen like that? Right, for some reason, and look chambers and stuff like that, and and make a Hamilton. Dujon Sterling we got on a permanent, which is actually a really good move. Dujon Sterling was brilliant for us last year, and he's actually worth five million. When they're coming in right now, but for some reason, it's not actually put the date. For some reason, it's put them right. I think that's better now. Right, so yeah, that's better now. So we managed to sign their Mavadidi for striker. Now this guy, he was actually on the transfer list for who was his last club? Um. Yes, yeah, so he was on the transfer list at Montpellier. Now, I, th I thought to myself, well, he's a young Englishman. Eh, why not eh, take a punt on him, eh, on Mavididi? And he seems to be not too bad. I don't know if he's going to start this season, because obviously we've got Lyle Taylor, um, we've got Alex Maiten and stuff like that. So I'm not too sure. He seems to be the best out of all our strikers that we've got here. So maybe he will start, but we'll need to wait and see what happens. Matt Miazga we managed to get on a permanent 3.25 million, which I thought to myself, that's actually quite a good deal. And we got Matt Miazga eh, back here on a fresh new transfer fee. Um, obviously, he's not the best eh, centre-back that we've got at the club so far. Warren O'Hara is the best um, in terms of comparison to centre-backs. to centre -back. So, I wouldn't have actually said that. I would have thought Matt Miazga would probably be the best but obviously not but we'll see what happens there this season um, our next signing was Giando Fuchs we managed to get him on a free as well and he's worth 11.5 million right now so not too bad of a signing obviously he has been released by uh, Dundee United um, I don't know why they'd release him I'd I really don't understand that at all, why they'd release him like that. But, 
they have done so so be it eh? then we were able to sign this guy Isaac Peterson now this guy um, I, I, like you might already realise that he's from Toulouse I don't know if I don't know like how many football manager fans there are in my comment section there down below but Isaac uh, Peterson for me and my Toulouse save like this is like a save that I do off camera uh, just in my own free time um, Isaac Peterson's actually been really really good for me good Sweden good Swedish uh, goalkeeper good shot stopper all of that good stuff and he's actually really really decent um, so I'm so glad I've been able to sign him up. And for two million, you can't really go wrong. And it's actually going to go up to two point six million. So you never know really what's going to happen with these uh, signings. But do you know what? Uh, so be it. If he, if like obviously, we don't know who's going to be our starting uh, goalkeeper this year because obviously we've got another goalkeeper who has signed, but only on loan. So I'm not too sure who's going to be the starting goalkeeper. Um, so we'll need to wait and see on that one. But for the next signing, we were actually able to sign Raja Nengolan on um, on a free as well. On a free. A squad player, but maybe past his best. I'm not too sure about that because Raja Nengolan, for me, is actually one of the best players like I've ever seen in Italian football. Like, he's actually insane. Um, and I think, to me, he's like... As I say, he's uh, one of the best players I've ever seen in Italian football, um, alongside like the best. Um, but I'm like I was ready to take like a one season uh, wonder uh, type thing on Rajan and going. If he stays for a second uh, season, I'll be very very happy. But do you know what? He's a deep line playmaker. That's what we play with. Thirty four years old. He may be past his best, but do you know what? We can get one uh, season out of him. Um, and that was really, really it for the signings of 2021-22 to 22 season. For the 2022-23 to 23 season, we, we actually managed to get Ben Rama on, a, on loan worth £23 million, one of the most valuable players here at the football club. And, and do you know what? He's actually, he, he actually looks quite good. 18 flair, his pace could do a wee bit of a up boost. Um, but apart from that, I mean, he really does look quite good. Um, and I'm happy with the signing of Ben Rama. Really, really happy at the moment. Um, and obviously, the last day signing of the window so far was Dalbert. And we managed to get him for... Uh, what did we get him for? Uh, two million. So, not even too bad. For, for a player of his calibre there. I'm not too sure if I've made any more signings. I don't think I have. No. But we're just still waiting on, obviously. We've, we're waiting on Dale Fry to accept our our offer. And I think it was of... 8 million. So 8 million is actually quite a good transfer fee for, for a player of his quality. And it came up saying like... Or not in a mere forest or linked with Dale Fry. Now I was actually looking at Lewis Cook at this time for maybe as a a decent central midfielder. But looking at central midfield and they're, and they're looking at centre backs, I'd rather have a better back than a better central midfielder because obviously, obviously we know we're going to leak goals. We know that because obviously we're just we're just up from the championship and stuff like that. We know that we're going to concede goals at some point. Um, but I'd rather have a really good uh, centre-back than a central midfielder. And I think that popping up really, really showed me that we needed that. So if we... Um, and this is another thing that I was uh, meant to show you. So I was in uh, somebody's stream um, this morning. And usually when I go into scouting, I can only see players that, that are from the same leagues as I've put on. So like Premier League, Championship... League One, League Two, uh, League One from France, obviously, uh, the German League, Belgian League, Italian League, Spanish League, Scottish Leagues. But now, this is actually a game changer. I never knew you could do this. Recruitment package, I've got on World. This is actually a game changer because now, if I go into player search, this is actually a filter that I've got from uh, somebody that actually made this for me. 
now I'm able to see players from... So I can see players from Dynamo Kiev. Obviously, you could see that before, but uh, Rostov and the Russian League, you can see players from Alsad. It's actually such a game-changer, and now I don't actually have to sign like the same players over and over again in saves. So now that I've got a better scout and filter... Um, it's a lot, lot better getting players in and getting players out because then obviously more more teams are going to come in for your players and I can actually make the game a lot faster as well. Going through the menus and stuff like that now because I can actually turn off a lot of the leagues and I'm going to actually do that now. So I've not actually got a lot of leagues turned on. Um, so, so I can actually get rid of that. These will not actually go out of focus until, obviously, it's like it starts like obviously the thirtieth of six twenty twenty three. So we've got a long t uh, time to wait. So hopefully the game speed of obviously helps that. Um, I don't know why I've got that as playable. I'm not actually too sure uh, why I've got that as playable, but that's fine. But confirm that. So that actually should make the game a lot faster. But this is the big one. So obviously you seen that obviously we got promoted and stuff like that. I was so so happy when when we got promoted. But now that we're in the big time, um we have actually got to play some pretty big teams now. We've we've got Burnley on the first day. So I'm keeping the same formation, I'm keeping it exactly the same. Um, so we'll see what we what we can play with here. So so Mavadidi, Delbert are going to get their debuts. Rajan Ngolan is going to get his debut alongside Carvalho. Ben Rama's going to get his. Is that better like that? I think it is. Um, I want to give Peterson his debut, but I think Van der Voort might just be a wee bit better than him right now. Um, Fuchs can uh, uh, come on in the second half for his debut, or uh, something like that. Um, but if we go to submit team. So here we go, our first Premier League match of the series. Hopefully, we can get off to quite a good start, hopefully, against Burnley. Um so I might actually play like the Aston Villa game as well. I don't know, but I'll see after this game if I do. I might just ah, I'm gonna actually play. I just play the one game. I I just decided there actually. It just in my it just in my mind. But if we actually like get a draw against Burnley, like I'll be happy. Like r like actually really really happy. Like um in our first game as well. Like, this could actually be quite good. I don't know why we're getting that. I really don't know why we're getting that. Uh, Tottenham and uh, Liverpool on the first day as well at half five. Here we go. Uh, Mavadidi can run at the defenders and it's just over the bar. But decent start here from Nottingham Forest. But Burnley's line up. If I can. Oh, that's 1 0. 14 minutes in. And Johan Berg Goodmanson has put them in the lead. Great. That's great. Has that changed? No, it hasn't. Good. Ben Rama driving at the defenders. I think... Actually, I think we've got a decent enough squad. Rajan Golan, Come on! I told you he was going to be a game changer. I told you. He can do it in Italy... He can do it anywhere. He can do it in England, absolutely anywhere. Rajan Angolan's there, one of those players who could play anywhere. And he'd still get the job done. Charlie Taylor. Rajan Angolan gets the ball back. Ben Rama. Lyle Taylor, what a ball to Mavadidi. And it's 2-1 Nottingham Forest. 16 minutes in. And Mavadidi has put that ball right into the back of the net. What a goal. What a goal from Mavadidi. Absolutely brilliant. João Carvalho. Joe Lolly. Oh my god, I thought that was 3 1. 
That's mental. I don't know how we're dominating that uh, much against Burnley, but uh, Lewis Baker plays that to Liam Delap, and that's cleared away by Dujon Sterling. Mavadidi. Oh my god, I thought that was 3 1. That's ridiculous. <laughs> An ing swinging cross from Jao Carvalho. And it's cleared away by Lyle Taylor. Uh, it's cleared away by the Burnley defence, Lyle Taylor. Jao Carvalho. Miffy, and that's cleared away. Another in swinging cross from Jao Carvalho, but Pop's able to deal with that. Dujon Stella. Mavadidi 3 1! Two goals in the opening day from Steffi Mavadidi. And what a start to the Premier League. Oh my god. I didn't. Oh my god, we're top. We're top after our first game in the Premier League. I don't think we're going to. I don't think this will be a record breaking season. I doubt it. Well, it, it, like with the teams that, that are in the leagues, that are in this league, but this could be, like, in terms in terms of a finish, this could actually be a record breaking season. That's a great save by Van der Voort. A corner for Burnley, eh, taken by Lewis Baker. In swinging cross, Van der Voort. Cork! And it's cleared away by the Nottingham Forest defence. Jao Carvalho. What a ball. And O'Hara makes it 4-1. Burnley are getting absolutely destroyed at the city ground. Oh my god. And Burnley, I think, will be bottom. I think they'll be bottom. I don't know why that's... Match stats. I want that to be... They've actually got that guy who... Like, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of him, but Eduardo Quaresma. Like, I tried, like, like I've got, like, a quite a fetish way, obviously, eh, going on to players and eh, checking what they're like, the asking price is. His was 257 million for a young player, a young Portuguese centre-back. And I think that's why it is. Ben Rama, it's off the bar! And Mavadidi is not able to just eh, turn it in. We'll tell Dalbert to Mark Goodmanson, but Mavadidi, and that's out for a that's out for half time and four one. Oh my god, I'm very happy with the way things are going. This is ridiculous, absolutely insane by Nottingham Forest here. Couldn't be any more better than this. Oh my god, and I thought Lyle Taylor had scored there as well. But Mavadidi, what a pick up he is. He's been, anyway. Insane. Absolutely insane. Rodrigo's put Leeds 2 0 up. Dujon Sterling plays it to Van der Verde. Nearly finds Joe Lolly, almost. Delap. And that's a terrible shot. 28 minutes to go in our first Premier League game of the series. I think I'm going to make a lot of subs here. I think just because we're 4-1 up. Ryan Yates can get his Premier League debut for Rajan Angolan who, might I say, has been absolutely insane. Giando Fuchs, Flamarian, uh, will go... Um, Lovera can uh, come off for Joe Lawley and Maiten for... Oh no... That's it. That's all the subs we can make. But I've got the thing on that uh, that you can actually make, like in the Premier League right now, you can make as many uh, subs as you want, like five or or something like that. Oh my God, what is this? Delap Baker, Cork. But I've got that switched on, and that's actually a game changer there when you want to actually make so many uh, subs in a row. Lyle Taylor actually tried to chip that over Nick Pope. There was no chance that was ever going to work. Lewis Baker and it's a good save by Van der Voort. And again they're uh, called into action. 3-0 Fulham against Swansea and they're getting a terrible, terrible lesson there. But 92 minutes have gone. Flamarian, he, he just heads it back just so he can waste a bit of time. 
Eduardo Quaresma, Miffy, Brownhill, and it's in by Liam Delap, but that's just a consolation goal. We don't have to worry about that. But 4-2, and we're sitting third in the league after one game played in the Premier League. This is this has got to be record breaking for a team to beat like I know it's only a 4-2, but the fact that we are beating an established Premier League team like Burnley. Absolutely ridiculous. That is that that is quite ridiculous. The fact that we are beating Burnley that by that. Marva Diddy actually played in Premier League football before for Charlton back in the day. And then Rajan Engel and Albert Fuchs and Ben Ramos able to make their debuts as well. But what a start to the Premier League, I've got to admit, what a start. That is ridiculous. So in the next episode we will we'll obviously play Aston Villa and Accrington Stanley off camera, but in the next episode, mm, I think I might play Chelsea off camera as well. I know that they were our affiliates, but I'd rather play Liverpool and Man City off camera. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Just the fact that they are two very hard away games. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I will go with that. So... We'll have Aston Villa, Accrington Stanley and Chelsea off camera. And then we'll come back for Liverpool and Man City. They will be two very, very difficult fixtures. So, thank you as much for watching guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please do remember to smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel too. And uh, comment down below what you think of the sign-ins. And obviously what I said at the start. Um, and then turn on post notifications as well so you don't ever miss out on when a video goes live and I will see you guys in the next video peace